testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into the Stevenson and Valdez 130-pound uh, scrap that we have this weekend. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Please uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Please subscribe to our other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, on YouTube, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. April is National Autism Awareness Month, so please subscribe uh, and like that channel, show support for a uh, charity that's near and dear to our heart. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, a lot of people think this Stevenson Valdez fight is a 50 50 kind of fight. People are having a difficult time picking the winner. Guys, this fight's not close. Um, Valdez lost to Consacio in his last fight. Can we be real about that? Like, he was lucky to get a decision against Consacio. He's had one great fight. He's had one fight where he's looked great. That was Burchell. Okay? Great win. Excellent win. Beat Burchell. Took his WBC title. What if... That tells me more of Burchell. Burchell went on and lost to Nakatalia in his next fight. Nakatalia beat... Uh, Nakatalia beat Burchell way better than Valdez. And I, I, I get it. You guys are going to get me. Boxing math doesn't work that way. I get it. What I'm saying is, Nakatalia, a guy that Shakur Stevenson destroyed, which you said was a bum, absolutely destroyed Burchell, did a better job, beat him way better than Valdez did. Think about that. Okay, You guys think uh, Valdez's best win is against Burchell, which it is. Bichelt got destroyed by Nakatalia, who you guys said was a bum, who Shakur Stevenson shouldn't have even been in the ring with. What if they, this isn't a close fight, right? Like, guys, Shakur Stevenson is an A++ fighter. He's going to be the next pound-for-pound great in the sport, or one of them, on a short list of guys. Valdez isn't. Valdez was losing to Jason Velez, um... Going in, in into the final round, he, he got a dramatic knockout. He was losing to Adam Lopez, got hurt, right, by, by Adam Lopez. Needed a beneficial uh, – he got dropped by Adam Lopez, if I'm correct, uh, early in that fight. Needed a, a beneficial stoppage from the ref when Lopez wasn't even hurt. The, this is the kind of – like, I'm not bashing Burchell, but I don't even – I don't even think that he's on the same, not in the same stratosphere as Shakur Stevenson. I'm going to make a bold prediction here. Shakur Stevenson, 120 to 108, wins every minute of the round. But it wins every minute of every round, wins the fight wide, not even close. After the fourth round, you can turn it off. Shakur Stevenson just destroyed Jamel Herring. Jamel Herring would beat Valdez. Yes, Jamel Herring would beat Valdez. Jamel Herring that beat Frampton. And, and, and Lamont Roach would absolutely beat Valdez. What is Valdez going to do? Valdez is 5'5". Five five. Shakur is 5'8", five 5'9", five so he's going to have a noticeable height and reach advantage. He's going to be able to keep that. Valdez isn't some, some quick, slick guy who can get on the inside and punish him. He's not crafty at getting He's really not. Right? And that's why he struggled with Jason Velez, who's not even at that level. Jason Velez is a guy. What's Jason? What's Jason Velez's record? He's got at least six, seven, eight, nine losses. Thirty and eight. Thirty and eight. Okay, Velez is a guy who you use as an opponent. He was beating uh, Valdez up until the last. And kudos to Valdez for getting him out. But this is not a guy who's going to even be competitive with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is, is the next pound for pound great. He just he has the skills, the ability. Now it's just a matter of going out there and doing it. Right, beating these guys, which he can beat. He destroyed Jamel Herring, beat him up, won every round, maybe lost one round, stopped him in the 10th round. Unbelievable performance from Shakur Stevenson. I, I don't even see how Valdez is even competitive to a point, right? Like, uh, yeah, he's a tough guy. I, I, I think he'll go the distance. But, like, besides the Burchell fight, and we found out in Burchell's next fight that Burchell's totally shot. What has he done? Like, who has he looked? Who has Valdez looked really good against? 
Casacio? Jason Velez? Adam Lopez? Who? Who did he look good against? The Italian kid, Carmine Tomasoni? Like, who? That, that's like, who does he impress you against? That, that, that is, is a good fighter. He's a two weight division world champion. But Shakur Stevenson is a special, gifted fighter. Valdez isn't. Valdez is a good fighter who who, who, who beat Burchell, who got Burchell at the right time and beat him. Nakatalia beat Burchell way better than, than Valdez did. And Shakur Stevenson annihilated and embarrassed Nakatalia to the point where you guys said he was a bum and no good. I don't see this fight. I think it goes to distance. Of course, not the biggest hitter, but I don't see this thing close or competitive, not even for a round. Like, that's how one sided I think this is. I could be wrong, and, and you guys have this. So, if I am wrong, and, and, Val, and Valdez even makes this comp- even makes this close, if Valdez wins three, four rounds, or even just hurts Stevenson once or twice in the fight. Come back, tell me how wrong I am. But I don't see this fight being competitive. 120 to 108. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, master boxer. He, he's going to outbox him on the inside. He's going to tie him up when he has an outbox him on the outside, right? And then he's going to kind of tie him up when he has to on the inside, outwork him, outland him, right? He's going to pound away the body. He's going to mix up combinations. This is not a close fight. This is not a close. I, 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 I don't see. How, like, if you think Valdez is going to win this fight, explain to me how he beats Shakur Stevenson. Like, Shakur Stevenson is an A-plus fighter. Shakur Stevenson is not good. He is excellent. He's excellent. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Do you guys think this is as one side as I do? Do you think Valdez has a real good shot in this fight? I just don't see it. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, or all forms of social media. Um... Quick hits comes at you every day. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, National Autism Awareness Month, so help us out there. Um, it is February, February, April 28th, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.